Hi everyone! Welcome back to All About Fire Protection Channel. Okay, today we are going to talk about the requirement when placing a heat detector at sloping ceiling. Before we begin, click the subscribe button to keep you posted on our video tutorials. Hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to see it. Here's a recap of the previous topics we have discussed so far. Let's begin. Okay, there are two types of sloping ceiling. Peak type and shed type. Sloping ceiling or peak type ceiling is not a new topic for you if you have watched our video in placement of smoke detector earlier. So the only difference is the ruling when you're going to install heat detector instead. So looking at the illustration, this type of ceiling is not flat nor straight, but instead, there is a point in ceiling where it is in highest peak of height and some point of the wall where it is in the lowest point. Like I said in my earlier videos, this is like the typical structure of roof of the house, which we commonly see in cold country weather where they have attic. So now, what is the requirement if your ceiling is sloping if we look at NFPA 72? There are eight arguments we are going to tackle. Our first argument is ceiling slope less than 30 degrees. Is beam less than 100 millimeters? If all arguments are yes, your first step is to locate your first detector at point in ceiling where it's peak. So same rule as in smoke detector, they can't be mounted within 100 millimeters from the peak and permitted to be installed within 910 millimeters from the center line of peak of the roof. Then, the spacing between detector will follow the maximum listed spacing, which is available in manufacturer's data sheet, or 15 meters in NFPA. Ceiling is considered as smooth if all arguments are yes. So detectors shall be placed using the height of the peak. The second argument is ceiling slope more than 30 degrees, is beam less than 100 millimeters. If all arguments are yes, your first step is to locate your first detector at point in ceiling where it is peak. Detectors shall be placed using the height of the peak or the average slope height. Detector shall be located in the ceiling. Okay, and ceiling is considered as smooth if arguments are yes. Third argument is slope less than 30 degrees. Is beam more than 100 millimeters? If all arguments are yes, your first step is to locate your first detector at point in ceiling where it is peak. So detector shall be located in the ceiling. Spacing between detector at right angle to the beam shall not be more than two-thirds of listed spacing. So detectors shall be placed using the height of the peak. Fourth argument is ceiling slope more than 30 degrees is beam more than 100 millimeters if all arguments are yes your first step is to locate first detector at point in ceiling where it is peak 
Detector shall be located in the ceiling. Spacing between detector at right angle to the beam shall not be more than two-thirds of listed spacing. So detectors shall be placed using the height of the peak or average slope height. On to our fifth argument. Is ceiling slope less than 30 degrees? Is beam more than 460 millimeters and spaced more than 2.4 meters? If all arguments are yes, your first step is to locate first detector at point in ceiling where it is peak. Detector shall be located in the ceiling and to each packet. Detector shall be placed using the height of the peak. Next argument. Is ceiling slope more than 30 degrees? Is beam more than 460 millimeters and spaced more than 2.4 meters? If all arguments are yes, your first step is to locate your first detector at point in ceiling where it is peak. Detector shall be located in the ceiling and to each packet. Detectors shall be placed using the height of the peak or average slope height. Seventh argument is ceiling slope less than 30 degrees is beam greater than 100 millimeters but less than 300 millimeters and space less than 2.4 meters if all arguments are yes your first step is to locate your first detector at point in ceiling where it is peak the detector shall be permitted to be located at the bottom of the beam. Spacing between detector at right angle to the beam shall not be more than two-thirds of listed spacing. Detector shall be placed using the height of the peak. Then our last argument is ceiling slope more than 30 degrees. Is beam greater than 100 millimeters but less than 300 millimeters and space less than 2.4 meters if all arguments are yes your first step is to locate first detector at point in ceiling where it is peak detector shall be permitted to be located at the bottom of the beam spacing between detector at right angle to the beam shall be not more than two-thirds of listed spacing. Detectors shall be placed using the height of the peak or average slope height. Now, for the other type of roof, which is the shed type, same apply to the ruling we discussed in peak type. The only difference is if you will locate your first detector within 910 millimeters from the highest point of the ceiling. So give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. If you want more videos related to fire protection, please comment down below or you may send me a message personally in our official Facebook or other accounts I have included in the description below. So please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep you posted on our latest video. Thanks for watching. Bye!